か。this over and in part me one sec because you see the president of the United States and the president of Finland taking a look uh, maybe at the gardens uh, uh, they're out on a balcony uh, getting a, an up close look at the Finnish president's uh, official residence the two first ladies there uh, as well this is a chance uh, for them uh, to take it in this is a beautiful city the capital Helsinki we've been here for a few days uh, preparing for this summit uh, the weather's been terrific we've got 22 hours of sunlight uh, something I wish we could say uh, about uh, being back home in America it's just been glorious uh, to be here you see away from the president uh, he seems to be in good spirits um, I mentioned a moment ago that John Kelly the White House chief of staff as the president chuckles there uh, the White House Chief of Staff John Kelly gave a little thumbs up uh, to the reporters assembled in the president's hotel. Uh, they have been preparing for this for a while. They are ready uh, to now get this going. And Peter, we're going to talk over these live pictures. What I was interested in is that Democrats uh, like to level all of these allegations about uh, Russia somehow having the upper hand over uh, President Trump. What they leave out is something important that you mentioned is is not just words, but actions that President Trump has taken as president, whether it be sanctions against, against Russia or actually sending heavy arms to Ukraine, a foe of Russia, something that, as I recall covering Barack Obama's administration, they repeatedly refused to send those heavy arms to Ukraine, uh, something Russia was against and the Obama administration didn't do. This Trump administration has actually sent those arms to Ukraine. Well, that's right. And sending uh, lethal defensive weapons to the Ukrainian sends an important message to Russia. It says Ukraine has a right to its own country and Ukrainians have a right to defend themselves. Those weapons have bipartisan support from Congress. And I think that's a, the important takeaway here. The uh, level of partisan speculation about this Russia Putin uh, meeting with Vladimir Putin it is deafening. And I think it's important to look at the facts and look at the at breakfast now uh, to get ready for the big one-on-one -on -one, uh, with Vladimir Putin. Uh, there you see the picture. Uh, and uh, the president, the two presidents 
uh, meeting uh, some of their staffs uh, there as well, obviously. Uh, this is a, pre a chance for the president to sit down with his host. Let's see if we can hear him. But I appreciated your support and your help. And I will say again, uh, you've treated us beautifully. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be seeing him in a little while. <laughs> we'll do just fine. Thank you. Mr. We'll President, uh, I'm from Finnish Press. Uh, what was the last choice to collect Finland as a meeting? Well, we think Finland's a great country. We had a fantastic meeting uh, a few days ago. Some of you were there. It was a very successful meeting. I think uh, NATO has never been more together. Uh, people are now agreeing to pay, and we were having a lot of problem with a lot of people not paying, as the president will tell you. Uh, and they're paying, and they're paying more rapidly. And I think NATO's probably never been stronger than it is today. So we had a fantastic meeting, and now we're capping it with being in Finland. And the hospitality has been fantastic. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.